Brazil is a leading exporter of meat and chicken, but with this latest scandal, several countries are temporarily banning or imposing restrictions on the entry of the Brazilian product. It's the case of China. The Brazilian Minister of Agriculture informed in a statement that the Chinese authorities told them that no Brazilian meat will be unloaded into China before further clarifications. This has caused much concern in Brazil because Chinese imports of Brazilian meat have been growing exponentially since 2015 when the Chinese lifted the ban that had been enforced for a, a few years on Brazilian meat. Other countries like Chile and South Korea and also the European Union are imposing restrictions or tightening sanitary barriers against Brazilian meat. It all happened after a federal police investigation that found out that some of Brazil's biggest players in the meat industry were incurring in more practices like using chemicals to mask deteriorating meat and also bribing government health officials. The Brazilian government recognizes that there is an issue to be dealt with, but they say it's been much exaggerated. President Michel Temer spoke in defense of Brazil meat producers. It is important to stress that of the 11,000 government workers at the Agricultural Ministry, only 33 are being investigated. It is worth repeating that of the 4,837 units subject to general inspection, only 21 are allegedly involved in any possible irregularities. President Michel Temer also invited a group of ambassadors for lunch in a top barbecue restaurant in Brasilia as a way of showing the quality of Brazilian meat. But in the end, the PR initiative backfired after it emerged that the restaurant is actually specialized in serving imported cuts of meat, not Brazilian cuts. The presidency issued a statement to say that in that specific meal, all meat served was Brazilian. But that was not enough to undo the perception that at least right now the confidence in Brazilian meat is shaken, both here and abroad. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo. Let's dig deep into the details of that story. Yasser Hakim joins us now for uh, a deeper look at that story, live from Cairo, with more data. Um, Yasser, good to see you. Um, has anyone in Egypt, as far as we know, fallen ill due to consuming meat imported from Brazil? Thank you, Rama. Um, no, no signs or any news of any uh, anyone getting ill from Brazilian meat. Uh, however, the government uh, says that uh, it is uh, very strictly uh, adopting uh, measures to ensure that no meat that is outdated or expired would enter the country. Uh, and that's why, uh, as a precautionary measure, they have uh, stopped all Brazilian or banned all Brazilian uh, imports of Brazilian beef. Uh, at the moment, and the delegation is in Brazil right now to try to investigate the reasons behind the scandal and what more uh, can they know about the type of meat that uh, is sent uh, to Egypt. Indeed. Um, let's, let's look at the wider importance of this particular commodity, though. How big a source is Brazil as far as the total amount of meat consumed in Egypt is concerned? And assuming that Brazil is out of the picture for a much longer period of time, where would replacement supplies of the same quality come from? Yes, it's a, it's a problem that the government doesn't need. Uh, Brazil covers around 70% of Egypt's uh, beef imports, which is a huge amount. And the timing is also a blow in itself because it's just a, a month before uh, the uh, Ramadan uh, holy month where the, ex, uh, the, the, the consumption increases drastically uh, during that month. And we also already have uh, higher prices because of the uh, pound devaluation and, and, and all this prices were already high when you lose 70% of your imports of your product in the market that increases prices more so the government has to scramble quickly to find alternatives other alternatives now being discussed uh, are another uh, the other sources of meat uh, India uh, African countries such as Sudan and Ethiopia are on top of the list right now and I think the government will work hard to get uh, their needs from these countries until the Brazilian issue is resolved.